Well, Mr. and Mrs. Midoriya, I have good news and I have bad news. Which one would you like to hear first? The good news? So I want to know if anything might be going on with my son. Oh, <clears throat> very well. Good news is your son has a quirk. Really? Yes, a quite powerful one, actually. Um, okay, then where's the... What, what's the bad news? Your son has a quirk! Uh-huh. Uh um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but how's that bad news? <sighs> okay, allow me to explain. Your quirk, Mr. Midoriya, is fire breathing. You are able to admit a very flammable substance from your mouth and it emits fire before it fully exits set. Yeah. I create the gas on about to light and there's a striking or you know, igniting aspect in my throat. Why? Mm, very good. And you, Miss Medora, you are able to attract small objects, or well, let's be honest, objects in general, towards you, correct? Yes. Well, you see, this cause a very interesting mutation from what I can see. Due to the test that we've shown and the, we've uh, noticed that your son it, it's a very interesting mutation brought upon by the you know combination of you, your two quirks. Explain. Of course. You see, what, Miss Midoriya, what you can gather small or objects towards yourself. That's what uh, your son is doing. But instead of it being objects, it's some kind of weird energy. I can't read. I don't really know what it is right now that he's absorbing, but for some reason, he's able to absorb a lot of it. All right, but what well, might work? Of course. You see, with this energy being absorbed by your son practically constantly, it, it you can say it enriches his body with said energy, and he's pretty much constantly absorbing it, just waiting for it to ignite. Excuse me? I say at the moment, your son, due to the studies, seems to be emitting this energy before it gets too, too much. What? Think of it like this. Say, when it comes to your fire breath, you had to burp or you had to have gas. It continues to build up, but you're holding it in for some odd reason. Uh huh. And if you don't let out, you're most likely gonna combust or. You know, I'm listening. Well, your son would be the same way, except for because of this energy he's absorbing. Since he has no real way to expel it, so to speak, he's leaking it to an extent. It's kind of like he's 
instinctively releasing it or it becomes too much that his vessel can't contain it. But, considering that he's still absorbing it, his body is still getting nourishment from said energy. the moment, your son is relatively training himself. As he enri enriches his body with this energy, he's making himself stronger, faster, etc., etc. But even he knows subconsciously that too much would have detrimental effects on his body. So, what well, all he can do is release it steadily, enough so he can still, you know, fight, but not so much that it could harm him or leave him vulnerable. And with this energy being so ingrained into his body already, Chances are, sooner or later, possibly once he's conceived, he would uh, be relatively dangerous. You're kidding. Oh no, Miss Midori, I, I am far from it. In fact, he's, uh, his physique, his strength will be possibly be near or on par with All Might by the time he's, uh, who knows. Even now, as we speak, he's technically using his quirk. Explain. Hmm. Let's see. Ah. You and your husband are researchers, correct? Trying to find the true origins of the ports and one of them, and where you did find something the radiated rock that seems to share the same signature yet a larger quantity than what we found in the air, correct? Yes, right. So <clears throat> Have you noticed, Mr. and Mrs. Midoriya, that your quirks have gotten somewhat more powerful whenever you're around this, uh, this rock? Yes, actually. My fire breath has gotten more honed. I mean, I've noticed the rise in temperature with my throat Someone can't keep up with it lately. Hmm. What about now? Well, before, I kind of would need, like, at least two glasses of water. But after this surprising boost, uh, I say three, maybe four and a half? And you, Miss Midoriya? I have been able to lift heavier objects, at least to towards me. What? Yes. Hmm. How heavy? Well, before I could at least lift a uh, action figure slowly towards me. But recently, I can say probably mm, ah, are we our car? Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! This could be more serious than I thought. What? Okay, how shall I? explain this 
It seems though, while your husband has absorbed the radiation from the rock, which slightly increased the, the potency of his quirk, you are absorbing it from the rock and your son, while he is absorbing not only the radiation from the air, but also the rock itself. What? Yeah, it seems as though your son is not only keeping himself alive due to energy absorption, but he's also able to enhance works similar to that of the rock. With you being so close to him, i.e. your womb, it... <sighs> The effects are magnified. And like I said before, he's absorbing and expelling it. No, 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 no. You, are you saying that my soon-to-be son is boosting my quirk? Yes, actually. Uh, Doctor, uh, this rock be seen, or well, we've noticed that it can also be used for empowering not just quirks, but technology and the like. Does that mean if? I say, if your son were to truly get more acquainted with this power of his, it's possible he could do the same. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so our son is turning into something equivalent to... Uh, Horrible trigger. No, no, no. Oh, 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 my goodness. No, no. Nothing like that. If anything, he's more like a. It's kind of like a pick me up. So, yeah, that makes it so much better. <laughs> you go, you should probably stay here, clear the lab from now on. No? No, no, I, I am not doing that. You gotta think about the kid. And think, yeah, I am. But then, well, if I may interject, what is it, Doctor? You see, it wouldn't work regardless of what you do. What? Wait, what do you mean? Like I said, He's already absorbing and expelling this energy, as it is. Regardless if you will go around the rock, your son is already doing the absorption. <laughs> so, regardless of how um, you try, and though it is honorable for you to Care so much about your family. Okay. I understand now. So, regardless of what we do, our son is still gonna be a potential powerhouse. Potential? Oh no. He's a guaranteed powerhouse. But, what's he. Really gets in tune to this, it'll be devastation without training. Oh, All right. Listen, Doc. So, is there anything we can do to keep our son from um, destroying everything in himself? Yes. 
perhaps we would have to mm, we have to construct some type of mm, nerfing device what think of it as like an inhibitor if anything we would have to make sure that the hero does not leave his person. Oh. So we will have to nullify his quirk completely? Ah. Uh, that would be great and all. But that wouldn't work. What? Like I said. Your son is absorbing this stuff, and the further along he gets, and you know, the older he gets, the stronger he's going to get. This inhibitor would have to be extraordinarily potent. Really? Yes. I'm not sure on the, what else we could really do besides, you know, uh, we would have to weaken him to an extent. And not because we can't, it's because, yeah, okay, yeah, it's because we, we can only do so much with the technology we have. Oh no, he will still be a force to be reckoned with. With or without the inhibitors. So we're going to have to put our son on medication for the rest of his life. Just so he doesn't hurt anyone. No. We just use similar collars that we do for criminals. What? Hey, I'm sorry, but this may be your really tr only true shit here. Once your son is born, we need to get him fitted for inhibitor collars. Collars? Plural? Huh. If anything, even those can only do so much. We had to gauge how much power it would require to at least weaken him. Oh. So. Yes. Once your baby is born, Mr. and Mrs. Medora. We were going to have to run some tests to fully know how to deal with him. Oh, well, thank you, Doctor, for this insight. Now, thanks to this little insight, they're, uh, they're wondering... Okay, so how should we really handle this? As yes, it's great that our kid has a quirk, but it's the fact that this quirk is very powerful and right now is buffing Inko's quirk as we speak. Even more so considering the circumstances of their jobs. So, what is the best course of action? Inko, uh, stops working for a while and limit the exposure to this damaging energy. Only problem is not only is Inko stubborn, no one can replace her for her role in experiments, especially when it comes to the special stone. So they have no choice but to find other ways to limit her access towards it. 
or at least exposure. Town goes on, and they think they found an actual remedy. Just adding more hands. In comes one known as Dr. Robotnik. One who specializes in, in more mechanical or artificial means. He sees humans despite the quirks as uh, inferior. You know, see so no real reason for people to try to make themselves better when that's part of the reason why they build such magnificent robots. Especially ones that can be somewhat like his. He's arrogant. He's very gung-ho about this anti-quirk thing. And as you can imagine, he is a uh, He's wonderful with. Only thing is, once he really does get a look at seeing an ego is a child, he's just looking at all sorts of disgusted. Why do you have that thing here? What? That? Pointing in her stomach. Me, my child? Yes. He has no place here. Why aren't you at home? Resting. Waiting for that little ankle buyer. I, I, I don't know if you're being considerate or you're just being an ass. Both. Seriously, imagine potential damage you can cause to my beautiful machines. Just because of your pregnancy. Oh. Oh, you're not being considerate to me? No, why would I? You're barely on my radar. Excuse me? Oh, this is what I was dealing with. This IQ are nowhere near mine. What I'm saying is. You should leave. Go home, please, so that we can finish our work. I, I don't, I don't understand. You are a liability with your child here. It seems like you're almost ready to pop. Wait, I, no, no, I, no, no, I, I'm. Still, don't don't tell me you think I'm stupid. Look at like it might be at least what eight nine months. No. What? No, it's just four. Oh, oh wait, really? Yes. And what in the world? Must be having a big one. I, 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 I don't. I, I, I I'm not sure, sure, but I, I mean, uh, you go. Just don't mind him. Just focus on your work. You, yes. Focus on your work. Why am? I'm just voicing my opinion. Well, stop it. You are here to perform a job. We expect you to do said job. When can your uh, automatons be ready? Oh, I think they're already uh, performing the job. What? Seriously, you haven't noticed how the energy around us has been more stable. 
At the moment, I've been siphoning off the energy of this beautiful specimen. What? Yes, you're welcome. That's not why you're here. What? What do you mean? I've been doing that since I got here. Ever since first drones I at least circuited were overloaded. What? Oh yes, I had to calibrate them to be able to not only get near this thing, but also to siphon its energy to make it more hospitable. Mr. Robotnik. Doctor. Whatever. That is not why you're here. You're supposed to help us study it. The reason why we hired you is not just because of your intelligence. I know. I know. Excuse me? Yes, I know. It's because of my beautiful machines. I know. Don't worry. Your feeble minds cannot fathom the amount of genius that is constantly pumping through my veins. So I understand why you want to hinder progress. Hinder progress. Of course! Where? Believe me, I've seen it before. Ever since I was quirkless, at least registered without your special gifts, I've suffered such persecution. What? Yes, sadly, back in my day, they didn't appreciate how yeah. smart I was, despite not having a quirk. Wait, you don't have a quirk? No. Wait, so you're just smart. Yes, yes. As you can see, my genius. Huh. Wait, did you think all of my doctorates and machines were due to a quirk? No. Well, yes. Is that a problem? Yes! Yes, it is a problem. I... I am sick of people thinking that you can't do something unless you have a work. Just because someone doesn't have work doesn't mean they can't do some things that people with quirks can. Every single test I've taken, every single quiz achievement I have I've earned. I've earned them. With my own hands. On my own mind. Wow. Everyone who's praising quirks and has one just coasting straight through just because they <clears throat> never mind never mind it if anything it just shows how how people minded you are <laughs> i assure you dr robotnik we are not threatened by your intelligence or your lack of a quirk. Ah, but you are. Excuse me. See, I didn't say anything about you being threatened. You assumed that. I, wait, what? No. Oh, don't worry. Just. Seriously, believe me. Uh, people see uh, my intelligence as a quite intimidating. You're not the first 
You won't be the last. Ah. You know what? It is not worth it. Let's just get get this uh work finished today, can we? Cause then they hear noise. It's Inka. They turn around and see that her water just broke. Bobonic, looking like a smug asshole. I knew it. Look. I knew you were right. No, 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 no. She wasn't lying. What? Must be. Oh no. Get Hazashi! What? Well, why? Just tell him he's about to be dead. No, we're going to eat containment. Wait. What? What? Two things. The rock and the child. Why? Well, you really don't know a damn thing, do you? Okay, fine. What is it? <sighs> the reason why you were even hired besides your so-called intelligence and your automatons is because we need you to light the load for Miss Midoriya. Because as we can uh, clearly see, not only is this child ready to be born, this child is causing very serious complications. As then, you can imagine the shock in everyone's eyes when everything starts gravitating towards Ingo. Not just small objects, but large and heavy machinery to the point where even Robotnik's fucking automatons are affected. He, his mind is pretty much uh, going to turn to mush, considering what are you doing to my creations? Ingo being pissed is saying, It's not me. And as actually does show up, he looks at Ingo and says, Is this really happening right now? Her ready to rip someone's head off. Say, what do you think? Lucky enough. The delivery is somewhat uh, safe, secure. They didn't leave her a C-section. If anything, it was smooth sailing, all things considered. Only thing is, once Izuku was born, Ego felt weak as hell. As soon as the umbilical cord was cut, and her link to Zuku was severed. Though she is notably weaker, she's also very relieved. And not only is her child safe, as well as herself, but it seems like everything went well, well here. and that doctor was a bit overreacting. That was until everyone noticed that Izuku started uh, floating. He floated right away from Inko and started barreling straight towards the rock. He burst straight through the containment, not only to shield him and Inko from said stone, but also through the containment of the stone itself. Which is very reconcerning. The robotic sees this, he's like, what is happening? And go, of course, she is terrified. She can only let small sentences trying to gather back her strength while also explaining that 
This is what the doctor warned us about. Their son's quirk absorbs this kind of energy and makes it his own. Robotnik seeing that, yeah, technology starting to go a little haywire, especially around Izuku and the stone. He decides to take some drastic measures. He starts unloading a lot of ammunition and sharp pointy things towards Izuku. Everyone, of course, is horrified at this. But what shocks them even more is the fact that it does nothing. All you can see then is Izuku still wearing his baby blanket. Oh, oh, oh no. What? <laughs> I think he might need to say sorry to the child. What? Seeing Izuku's very irritated expression, Robotnik still wants to be as smart as like, why should I apologize to a child for? I did nothing wrong. You shot at the child. And? He was interrupting our work. And with just the wave of Izuku's hand, a wave of pure energy cuts straight through the air. Almost, almost uh, slicing through a large amount of instant bystanders. The one that's seeing this is the. Huh. I must say, I am very impressed. Everyone, of course, looking at him like he's an idiot. Wondering, how are you impressed at. So people almost died because of a newborn. Ah, if anything, this has proved my point on how stupid quirks are. And see, look how dangerous. Robotnik, you, you, you cannot be serious. Oh, that's a heart attack. Look at what he's done. Oh, you, you may be smart. When it comes to academic or, you know, and whatever, but when it comes to people, you are really stupid. Well, what, what do people matter? Wow. Uh, eh, you know what? Yeah, we're not surprised anymore. Just, just focus on uh, not dying. A lot easier said than done considering Izuku is still throwing out a bit of a tantrum. Instead of crying like the usual infants would. Yeah, he's just causing a lot of power throughout the whole facility. Not only putting the lives of the poor scientists and technicians in danger, but also that of the people on the outside as soon as they do reach outside. Zashi does end up coming in clutch though when it comes to Izuku's new handy dandy inhibitor bracelets. When he finds out that those don't work, he has to use a, the other spare too, just in case those were to break. This does actually Weaken Izuku enough so he's not floating anymore. The only thing is, he falls flat on his butt and he does start crying. So, as Zashi does pick him up, Izuku socks him in the chest and he, along with Izuku, goes flying throughout the room, only having Inko just barely be able to catch them. Be this strong. Well, the doctor said he was pumping his own body full of this energy, so, so I guess he's gonna be quite powerhouse. <laughs> the 
Yes, yeah, it, it's great, great, just, just wonderful. Or something's going to be a menace. What? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, this, this is great. Are you all right? <laughs> See you, man. Go uh, hold her son, please. Is yeah, Hazashi. He walks away to, straight to the infirmary. People seeing a slight trail of blood. <laughs> Robotic seeing this and noticing. Wait, wait, wait! Something's wrong here. What? Did we something wrong with the baby? No, screw that baby. No, it's irrelevant. The stone isn't emitting you. More power. What? It's empty. You're not getting any readings from it. Wait. Does that mean him turning his head menacingly towards the newborn Izuku? That. That devil child. That quirk child. This. Well, what? You said it yourself. He absorbs this energy. I. I understand. The, the amount of power I was extracting before barely. barely scratched the surface. What I. Oh, I can't believe it. Your little ankle biter absorbed all of it within seconds. Listen, there was a ungodly amount of energy still being extracted before that. The amount I was able to draw from it was nothing a drop compared to the ocean of pure raw energy that your son, your new little liability, absorbed in mere moments. Wow. Oh. We have to study him. What? Yes. In, in fact, I'll get operating room ready right now. Yes, I know. This is fascinating. Imagine if we can actually. And yeah, Inko walks up to him, holding Izuku, and. Oh, Warren, did you just, yeah, yeah, I did, no one's going to do it to my son, why not, is it his fault, are you really blaming an infant, the botnik, blaming, where else is the blame going, blame going, the go! This child absorbed so much energy. A specimen that we have barely scratched the surface of. This was our little research project. I barely got enough energy to fully test it, let alone analyze. Could you imagine if this child, if this child was perfectly honed, if he still absorbing more energy, isn't he? Inko, 
be right. How do you know that? <laughs> wait, 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 let me call this some help. My uh, associates in contacting more drones and they swarm Ingo and Izuku. Ingo, of course, is very concerned. Izuku is at the moment sleeping in Ingo's arms. She warns her body that if she wakes up Izuku, he will destroy his precious machines. Robotnik, of course, will calm down. I'm only scanning him. And so he does. Yeah, he's terrified and astonished to the point where he just falls up on his knees. Everyone's wondering what the hell happened to you. This boy is, has an unimaginable amount of power in his very being. It's not even the fact that he's absorbing it. He is creating it. Just like you said. What? Huh? Uh, uh, no, excuse me. What What did you say? Uh, he's creating it. Not just absorbing it. Yeah, you said a little bit more than that. You said, just like they said, who told you about our son? Why did you... I, I, I have no idea what you were talking about. No, I clearly he heard you say that. Well, like, it was just an educated guess. What? Yeah, I mean... Of course, absorbing energy is one thing, but being able to utilize it as much as he did with his, you know, his air cuts or whatever you want to call them, is obviously that with that amount of power, it had to be coming from somewhere besides just our specimen. Of course. And frankly, those inhibitor rings I came up with them. Me and my husband. Why? That's me. So, these do what? They, they store it? Or. No. If anything, they're full of port dampeners. Really? Astonishing. Why did I think of that? What? I'm just saying, if, if I had known about the potential that your son has, I probably would have planned ahead as well. You know? Right. Anyway, um... Doctor? If you don't mind, me and my son are going home. And we would appreciate it if no one else talks about this incident ever. Of course. I, I understand. Yeah, you can just imagine <laughs> the drive home. Inko and Hazashi are definitely Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Nurse was able to catch me up. Are you okay? You've been through quite the experience. It's fine. If anything, yeah. We just gotta make sure we keep our son safe. 
it's going to be a lot of work, of course, but I'm sure we can handle it together, like we've always done. Yes. But this has been an eye opener. I mean, we are not having any more kids. Are you kidding? Of course we're not having any more kids. This one almost killed. God knows how many people. By accident, just from being born. Well, in his defense, he was attacked soon after. Yeah, you're not wrong. You've been a quack of a doctor, Botnik. Yeah. Well, you don't like him. But for the time being, we're going to have to. Oh! Yeah, then. Here now, our son absorbed all the energy that the stone had. What? That giant, gigantic stone. Is it empty? Yeah. And you're saying our newborn absorbed it? Yep. Almost like he was drawn towards it. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I guess we're going to be out of work for a while. What? what? Yeah, we were meant to study that rock, but considering that it's empty, is there really a point to keep researching it? Get your point. But, oh no, oh, no, don't, don't, don't do that. What? Don't, don't say but, don't. Screw it. What, what, what? Say our son is able to give it back? You go, what are you suggesting? That we take our child back? You want us to expose him to this... Such a... Interesting environment again? Yes. Huh. Interesting. Are you crazy? What? No, really? Because you're sounding a wee bit crazy. Um, what's the worst that could happen? He could die or we could die. Okay, it, it, it would not be that bad. The punch he delivered to me didn't fracture my ribs. It broke them. If he feels like he's in danger, it is going to be hell for whoever upset him. I understand what you're saying. Good. But still, he needs to learn how to control it. He's an infant. He was just born today. Do you imagine the amount of no, no, I understand. Good. So, uh, now that is done, uh, what you want for dinner? Wait, you're gonna cook? Yeah, yes. Right now, I'm hungry. So, yeah. 
after all you just been through, but what you just gave labor to yeah, that work. Pretty sure I can handle a punch. Almost killed me. Besides, you need to worry about rest. And I need to make sure that our son doesn't, doesn't kill anyone. He would never. Really? How sure of that are you? We can find him tutors. <laughs> really? You, you really think there's be someone willing to tutor such a potentially dangerous individual? What do you suggest? Be baby proof. Or at least in our case, everything proof, Izuku proof even, everything. We need to make it so those inhibitor rings do not leave his ankles or his wrists. Ugh. At least we need to make it so the energy he absorbs doesn't uh, get too out of hand. What are we going to tell him once he gets older? What can we really tell him? Uh, tell him he has a strength quirk, I guess. That's not going to work. I know. So, tell you what, I'll let you decide how we break the news to him. Well, considering how uh, his power is very dangerous. Wait, we could call in some favors. Do we know anyone who can absorb energy? Or anyone who can at very least, you know, Diverge some of that power. To make some calls. For the time being. We need to focus on your recovery. And our game plan for. Some contingencies. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, what do you want for dinner? I said, you never gave me an answer. Um, cutlet? You got it. Oh, hold on. Is this? <laughs> okay, that kid is a lot more interesting than you told me, brother. Yeah, that quirk. Seriously, I gotta say, I did not expect that. With such a young child, the amount of power? Are you sure he doesn't want that kind of quirk? Like I told you, his reaction to what I told him. Yeah, a ticking time bomb. But, here's the thing. There might be a way to fix that. Really? Please, continue. Well, if anything, they've made 
and he has some inhibitor rings that not only keep him somewhat calm, also seem to dampen his power. How's that? Nah, won't work. What? Those things will only be able to do so much until they get overworked. If anything, we'll leave it to you. If you can find anything that we can use, just let us know. Alright. Fine. Yeah. If anything. Maybe it'll be a nice little pet project. Right? And that's the end of this first part. Yeah, you can see, yeah, no intro this time. Decided to work on a newer one. Even decided to, why not put in some just plain background music in. Yeah. All of them don't make it too loud. Shouldn't be too bad yet. At the very least. Ah, it's good to be back. For how long? Hopefully longer this time. Uh, got a lot of things to work on, not only on YouTube, but yeah, work level wise. But at the very least, let's try to have some fun. You know, with the end of that, I'm bored. You're bored. Let's get this over with. <laughs>